Now take the multiples of three sixes and nines and you see why Tesla said, and it wasn't just Tesla. Pythagoras, Vitruvius, Aristotle, Plato, all talked about the three sixes, nines, and eights. So they're special. All multiples of three, six, nine always give you three, six, and nine. And so when you now have the revelation of the original musical scale, the core creative frequencies of reality, you realize they are three, nine, six, four, one, seven, five, two, eight, six, three, nine, seven, four, one, and eight, five, two. That is all three, sixes, and nines when you do the Pythagorean mathematical conversion. Rodin, the first time I had the first mathematical genius, and I'm humbled and privileged to work with the world's leading physicists and mathematicians right now, who have advanced so many wonderful blessings of revelation regarding 528 hertz frequency of love, and all of these numbers, and what they really mean, and how they fit with sacred geometry and cosmology. Everything in the universe now we understand is based on this system. And Rodin was the first that I met. I had never known him before. He was invited to do a presentation. I was sitting in a living room in Hawaii, and Rodin was there presenting with other physicists and mathematicians, and he started to put these numbers of his matrix that he came up with from this simple array. He starts right there, real simple. And then he goes into more complex analyses where he creates the matrix of the universe. And he looked, he put them on the board and I'm looking, holy smoke, this guy's putting up the Sofeggio frequencies. 396, 417, 528, 63, repeating in a matrix. And from this simple work, he, be, he developed the more complex toroid structure of the universe. So this is Rodin's toroid. Now sitting in the audience is a fellow who you should definitely get to know. His name is Nassim Haramin. He's a metaphysical physicist who took Einstein's field equations and factored in torque, spin, and velocity and advanced Einstein's work dramatically to come up with his structure of the universe. I'll show you in a second. He said to Marco Rodin in this audience, he said, Marco, I appreciate your work. He says, but you don't have it quite right. You forgot polarity. What goes up must come down. There's a positive, there's a negative. He says it's not a single toroid. The real structure of the universe is a double toroid. So the resonanceproject.org presents you Nassim Haramid's work that shows you the structure of the universe is a figure eight. And if you see his animation, well, it's spinning. You see it has a spinning, spiraling, and coming back to the beginning. Just like a figure eight does. <clears throat> now you have just learned how come what goes around comes around. You just learned as you sow, so shall you reap. You just learned that paying it forward is a great blessing to you. You just learned that Giving is receiving. You just got shifted out of this whole ignorance, this paradigm of scarcity consciousness into the great abundance, the way the world really works. So Hartmut Müller, Russia's top space-time physicist, concurs. He basically evaluated the structure of the standing gravitational wave of the universe. And he said, you know what this looks like exactly is a, on the cosmic level, it reflects the microscopic level of DNA. And so now you play with this as I did. He said that there's in six nodes. You see on the lower left side of the chart, it says in six. His thesis advanced that there are nodes into which physical reality manifests. It doesn't happen everywhere along the wave. It happens in certain spots where the energy, just like at the center of a figure eight, bingo, there's a unique spot, one spot where the energy vectors cross. Right there is a node. And he says in the grand standing wave of the universe, there's six places that actually physical reality manifests within the wave.
If you like this video and you want to see more amazing content, go ahead and check out the next video on our channel.